What's up guys, I hope you are all doing great. We are back. According to the LA, there is a significant distinction between the Galaxy S23 Ultra and Galaxy S24 Ultra. As usual, the website has not disclosed any details regarding the source of the information, and rather, the ELEC lists sources which limits the veracity of its assertions, even if they corroborate prior rumors. For the Galaxy's 24 series, Samsung is reportedly planning to produce 15 million titanium frames all of which will go towards the Galaxy S24 Ultra. According to the LX, Samsung began producing titanium phototypes in 2021. And only recently, though, was the frame type commercialized by the company due to low yield rate. Furthermore, the website claims that the cost of producing each titanium frame is between 80 US dollars and 100 US dollars, which is four to five times more expensive than the aluminum frame found in the Galaxy S23 Ultra. To put things in perspective, with the release of the iPhone, iPhone 15 Pro and iPhone 15 Pro Max, Apple became the first smartphone manufacturer to mass produce titanium frames. Later, Xiaomi launched the Xiaomi 14 Pro in titanium, though it is currently limited to China. The rest with 24 Ultra is expected to weigh one gram less than its predecessor, according to Ice Universe, which could mean that titanium has a more structurally rigid frame than aluminum. Presently, the S24 Ultra, along with the standard S24 Plus variant and the Galaxy Book 4 series is anticipated to launch exclusively with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 in two months. In addition to that piece of news, Samsung is getting ready to release the Galaxy A25, where its 5G-capable Exynos 1280 chipset will be one of its main advantages over the Galaxy A24. Now that the 25-watt charging rate has been confirmed, it is consistent with the previous model. A USFCC listing provides some information about the upcoming SMA256 you and it's very likely that the Galaxy A25 will also continue to use the same 5000 mAh battery. Every device is guaranteed to comply with US laws and regulations by the Federal Communications Commission, while the listing also stated that NFC and Wi-Fi 802.11 BGN A and AC standards will be supported by the device. It has been revealed that the US version will accommodate 10 5G bands. According to report, the phone itself will be positioned as one of the more reasonably priced mid-ranges and feature a 6.44 inch screen, a 50 MP main camera and a 13 MP selfie shooter. Finally, about the release date, even if the A24 was released in May, the early certifications suggest that the A25 might be just around the corner. That said, I'll be ending the discussion for today. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below as well. If you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe. The tech chat is over and I am out.